this book is mature. I'm sorry. I have no other words to say it. It's just a very mature, good book. Did not make you laugh. Did not make you smile. Hi friends, it's Rory and welcome back to this makeup and hair. Bet you're tired of seeing it. Uh, sorry, I have to pre-film videos because my roommate has two young daughters. Anyways, today I am going to do a review on With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, I read this book this month um, for my Disney Princesses Choose My TBR Challenge. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. And this was my choice for Tiana, um, who recommend a cookbook. So I chose a book that features cooking. And I loved it. I gave it five stars. This is so far my favorite book that I've read this month. I adore it. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Um, first things first, uh, With the Fire on High is a story about Imani who is a teen mom. She currently has a three-year-old daughter named Emma, who she calls baby girl. Um, and and um, she is also helping to take care of her grandmother who is on disability. And along with that, um, she is a cook and she enjoys cooking and it's kind of the only place where she can like let go of herself and she finds out that her school is having a culinary arts class and so she needs to decide if this is something that she can do because um she feels like as a mother she can't exactly have do things that she wants but along with that she can't really afford the trip to spain that the class is making at the end of the year. This book is, first of all, it's written fantastically. It's a prose story, but some of the writing is just, it feels like a poem. And I know that uh, the poem X, her first book, which I haven't read yet, um, is written in verse. And if, the prose that she writes sounds like a poem. I cannot even imagine the poetry she writes. It's beautiful. So the writing is fantastic. The characters are also fantastic, but Amani is such a good character. Now, before I go more into this, um, I do want to let everyone know that um, this book felt very close to me because my own sister was a teen mom. Um, and so as a result, I do know some of the struggles that teen moms go through. Not personally, obviously, it wasn't me, but I've seen the struggles that my sister goes through. And so I was kind of going into this, knowing those things and judging it on those. And it passed with, fi with flying colors. It's so, so good. Um, so, speaking of teen moms, let's go ahead and talk about Amani. Amani's just a really great character. Um, she knows what people say about her because as a teen mom, like she says things like, oh yeah, I'm the girl that people always warned you about. Like the one that gets pregnant her freshman year, all these things. And they, there's these small lines that just, you feel like, sh like, especially if you or someone you know is a teen mom like you feel this there's a part where uh the boy that she has a romance with um there's a girl who likes him and she tries to make it to like out her as a teen mom uh, by asking how her daughter is and amani knows it's to shame her but she talks about how she is not going to be shamed how she will how people are going to say things and the only thing that you can do because you can't control what they say is you can control how far down your shoulders go and how low your head gets so she so you just like so she talks about how she just lets her shoulders back and keeps her head high and she just says oh my daughter's great she just started daycare thank you so much for asking about her she doesn't let anyone else shame her like she's proud of herself and she's proud of the mother that she is she's not going to let anyone shame her but she's also prideful 
like she talks about how she knows she's a good cook and she is like everyone in the book says so the re there are recipes sprinkled throughout and they sound so fantastic and i wish i could cook better because i want to make them everyone who eats her food talks about how great it is even their teacher eats her food and it's like it's fantastic but it's not how i asked you to make it and that's a big thing is that she makes food but she doesn't pay attention to the instructions in her class and that gets her in trouble and there's a good portion where she contemplates dropping the class but she's too prideful to drop it and finally she goes back to the class after her grandmother tells her that she knows she's been skipping and they talk about it and uh, the teacher who's fantastic explains that it's not that she's not a good cook it's just that she needs to learn the basics before she can go on and do her own thing and also that in the world of being a cook if you make any changes to the recipe and it's not you know on the menu someone could order something and have an allergic reaction and these are things that she needs to think about and it's really the first time that it clicks in her that oh there's a reason why people are, why he's telling me that I'm not allowed to do this, why I have to learn the thing so that, so even though I know it would taste better if this ingredient was in there, I have to learn how to make it this way before I can make it that way. And then after that, the teacher puts her in charge of uh, fundraising for their, you know, for their class uh, trip and it's those leadership ideas and those leadership skills that she gets that really changes her as a character and you feel it like in the person at the beginning of this book could not make the final decision that Amani has to make uh, as the Amani who goes through this journey of learning that yes I'm a good cook but I also need to learn how to take instructions and how to follow those instructions before I can implement my own ideas. And it's fantastic. And you really feel both sides. Like I felt for her when like she got in trouble in the class because I know that she's talented, but I also understood what the teacher was saying. Yeah, and throughout the book, you really see her become a leader and it's good. It's just that there's no better word for it. It's it's good. She, her ca whole character is fantastic. Along with that, the side characters, those that are important, are really fleshed out. Like her grandmother, her abuela, is <laughs> said with the most white accent. Her grandmother is, um, there's a storyline where she keeps going to the doctor. And you find out it's not because she's sick. It's just because she's seeing someone who works at the doctor's office. And it's fully fleshed out. Uh, along with that, she has a best friend named Angelica, who is a lesbian, and she's going through her first real relationship with a girl. And it's very sweet, and I love her. But it also, like, talks, whenever there's flashbacks, talks about how Angelica was the one who was there for her. And there's this really, really good part uh, where she talks about how Angelica was always there to, like, while she was pregnant, to, like, hold her hand and um like go after anyone who was going to try to like make fun of her and she was there for her and um when angelica comes out she asks um unfortunately she asks if the reason that she did it was because she had a crush on her but angelica's response is great she goes you know that would be like having a crush on your sister and she explains how um she did that because, you know, Amani is her sister and you're going to defend your family. And so because she knows that when Angelica comes out to their whole school, she then um, like is the one to hold her hand and defend her. And she doesn't care if people say that they're girlfriends or make fun of them because, oh, look, it's the teen mom and the lesbian. She's going to defend her sister. And that happens before. It's only seen in a flashback, but it's really, really, really good. Also, the love interest um, has a backstory where he just moved in with his aunt and uncle because he came from a part 
from a place that was not the best and he just lost his younger brother and it talks about how the reason he liked to cook was because he had to cook for his younger brother because his mother was always working and they're all just like they all have character and they're all fleshed out and they feel like real people but one thing that I really really loved is that despite the fact that she's a teen mom this book is not cliche like it could have been so cliche but it's not like it presents the good and the bad of being a teen mom while while not like demonizing anything but a thing that i really enjoyed was the relationship with the baby's father and his family and amani like she does talk about how she dislikes things like the fact that her baby's father brings other girls around her daughter and how she's not comfortable with that and how she thinks it's annoying that he is more concerned with the fact that she's bringing a man around even though the guy didn't even meet her daughter at the point when he talks about it um but she never outright demonizes her uh, baby's father in fact she goes out of her way to talk about how he's a good father and even the mother to uh, her baby's father uh, there's a part where she gets her phone taken away which by the way is dumb why the heck are office workers taking the phone away from a mother if anyone should have a phone it should be the one with a daughter so that if something happens to said daughter she could go and get the daughter and her grandmother is off doing something. And as a result, no one is available to get in contact with because her daughter has a fever and is sick. So they try to contact her and then they try to contact the grandmother. Then they try to contact the baby's father. And then they contact the mother of the baby's father. The mother was awful and I will say that outright. She goes and picks her up and when she calls, She's just like, you need to be more responsible with this, which is a point, but also is not taking into account that something could have happened to make it so that she wasn't available. And then she threatens her with um, custody. And that's awful, and I hated that. But at the same time, despite the fact that Amani is very upset and angry at her, she realizes that, you know, the grandmother to her child cares for her because like she says things she gives her child Tylenol because she's worried that her granddaughter w has a you know fever and needs to be taken care of and so like it's very mature <laughs> that's that's the thing she's very mature like she points out that there are bad things but she never demonizes it and it's so good especially if you have a personal connection to teen parenthood it feels very realistic and wonderful uh so let's get into some things that are a little bit faster to get through um the love story was very cute it was never the main focus the main focus is more on amani's love of cooking and also motherhood in general uh, but the love interest was very cute, very sweet. It went slowly. There was a lot of emphasis on how because she is a teen mom, she can't just bring men into her life. She has to be ready to bring them into her life when and also into her daughter's life, which was very mature. And he was willing and understanding of that. And it was great. And I liked it. It wasn't the best romance I've ever seen. Uh, but it was very sweet. Along with that, there's the main themes and then there's other smaller things that I really enjoyed. Uh, one running like small theme throughout is Amani feeling abandoned by her father, um, who after her mother died giving birth to her, he gave Amani to his grandmother and then moved back to Puerto Rico. And how she feels, you know, abandoned by him, but she doesn't feel like she has, she can let him know. And so she's very angry at her father, but not at the same time. And it's, it's handled really well. Along with that, 
her father living in Puerto Rico, they do bring up things like Hurricane Maria and um, all that jazz. And that, as someone who lives in Florida, it was very nice to see. Also, her mother, uh, there's a lot talking about how she doesn't feel connected to her mother and she wonders how her mother would feel about her and feel like uh, how she, like how her mother would feel about like her cooking and her being a mother and all these things. And she has a, like an aunt from her mother's side that she emails every once in a while through the book who talks about her mother and um, it's great. Another theme that is explored is kind of judging people without knowing their full story. Like naturally she talks about how people judge her because she's a mother before they know like the whole story. But there specifically there's a character that um, she has every right to not like. And she talks about how she doesn't like it, her and, but then through a series of events, they end up talking about how they judged each other and how that wasn't right. So good. So, so well handled. My personal favorite was towards the end, um, she has to think about if college is right for her. Cause really all she wants to do is cook. She's not the greatest at school. And so she doesn't think it's wise to kind of um, go into college where she'll get into more debt when she has a child to take care of. But everyone around her, because she's one of the first people to go to college, wants her to go to college. And she kind of has to think about if college is the right step for her or if she should just go into working immediately and ignore college. And it is something that I feel more books should talk about because in high school, it's kind of like expected that you're gonna go to college, especially nowadays. And no one ever really talks about how for some people, college is just not the answer, is not right for them and that there are other options for them. So I feel it was a very good like theme to explore for this book, especially at the age range where people are going to be reading it. And with that, that's the end of my review. So once again, I gave this book five out of five stars. So far, it's my favorite book I've read this uh, this month. It's one of my favorite books I've read this year, although nothing is gonna get close to Becoming by Michelle Obama or Girl Made of Stars. I hope that you guys had a great time with me on this video and I hope you have a great You've had a great day so far. Um, as always, there's a link to register to vote down below. And let your voice be heard in our upcoming elections. In the meantime, I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye!